Okay, so what we've just done there is we've just looped over a simple list of of simple values, and in this case, it was B, so it was just numbers, right? But what if we want to loop over something a little bit more complex? Okay, like let's say a list of maps, right? So what happens if we say, yes, yeah, C is a list, but C contains deeper values, right? Oops. So we'll put, you don't have to put that in quotes within YAML. You can actually do that and that will be a string, but I'm very, I'm a big fan of being very explicit. Okay. Alrighty. So what happens if we come in here? I actually meant to put, uh, my apologies. So that's our greeting map, if you like. Okay. And then we can have another list item in here. And that can be Z equals 50 or Y equals 99. All right. So now we've got a much more complicated situation because we've got a we've got a variable so all we've got to do is say well we want to loop over c pretty obvious really but item no longer just equals a flat value right so let's see what happens if we actually print that out let's actually see what we get so we get the map you may have actually have guessed that right we get the map because all we've actually said to it is just give us the whole thing so it's gone okay well the first item is this map that contains these keys and these values and the second thing is this map that contains these keys and these values. But what if you want to print a very specific thing? Okay, so you might want to go dot hello. But you've got a bit of a problem here, right? Because only one of the maps contains the keyword hello. So let's see what happens. So it fails, right? Because we've said hello on the first one. And indeed, look, hello, hello world. Hello world. Okay, hello world. So we've, we've gone... C and then it's pulled out the first element which contains this map we said we want the hello keyword within that map and that's given us the value of word world so we've got hello world and there it is hello world but then the second time around it's gone to the second map okay and there is no hello keyword so this fails if the items in your list if your if your maps inside of your list don't have identical keys so it needs to be a consistent setup so if i put hello mike and do goodbye mike now we do have a hello keyword in both items within so now we have hello mike hello world okay so that is how you would set up a list of maps and iterate over them it's identical except in here our item is being set to the value of the list item that it finds and that value is a map so therefore as we've seen in the past we just access it that way we can also use the square braces too because again that's how you can access a map within ansible exactly the same result because we're accessing the exact same keyword and that is how you loop over a list of maps.